The bloopers. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> All right, man, it's Darren. Everybody know me. Know the plug. And today we have a special guest from Columbia Records. And I want him to introduce himself. You know, he, he, let the world know who you are. How you doing, Azim Rashid, Senior Vice President of Promotion, Columbia Records, New York City. There's 
joint ventures where maybe you and I have a record label and we have an artist and we sign and we split the profits 50-50. We provide the A&R, the label provides the marketing. There's the 360 deal that you talked about, which people get confused and we really need a lot of time to talk about that. The, the best way to explain the, the, the 360 deal is this. The label gets to participate in everything you do. But, but the one thing that artists need to realize, the label isn't taking anything from you, the label's earning it. They gave you an opportunity with a record deal, but they also put people around you to help you get a grand sponsor deal with, with a Coke or a Pepsi, or to put you in movies, or put you on the soundtrack. So it's not just about the label coming in and saying, well, we get a piece of everything. The label is investing in you at a, at a higher level, and in turn, they're gonna participate at a higher level. There's also a licensing deal where you license the music to a label for a distribution company for a period of time, and then after a while, you get your master's back. So there's all kinds of deals. There's a book called This Business of Music by Billboard Publications that you should all go and get and read because it gives you the layout of all those kind of contracts. But you know, like most music artists and these fans now are, are like short, like attention span. Yeah. So like they will rather hear you say that just now. Yeah. That's a crazy thing. Like like you know like the music industry kind of changed from via social media streams to from buying CDs. Like you know since you've been in the, in the game for a while, I want you to like tell like the difference being working both well, actually working for a record label from like all the way from via from and from not having via social media to CD sales to like now streams and everything like that. And so what's the difference? I mean, the biggest thing is just the consumption, right? How we actually consume music, physical product versus stream. Back when CDs were popular, you know, you had CD players, right? Um, it cost a lot more money. You had to manufacture the actual packaging, uh, the insert, right? The artwork, uh, actually producing the CD. So that costs more money. Now with a stream, once you put the metadata into the system, and make sure it all reads on the back end, push the button, and it's global. So you know, there's this big theory, like most independent artists feel like these record labels got this machine behind them. Like, you know, I want you to explain about that. Like, like you know, like artists just think like, so you can sign to a label, and, and one label just go just, just make you pop. Well listen, the record label is there to amplify your voice, right? right. Labels don't make artists. We don't make stars, we sign stars, right? And so what the label's job is to do is to help you curate your narrative, is to help you amplify your voice, and then put it everywhere. The reason that the labels are called the machine because we have 100, 200 people working towards your vision or you're just one individual. But the talent comes first. You have to continue to do all the things you did to get noticed by the label. And sometimes it takes a while for it to happen. You gotta build leverage. I, 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 I speak on that like you gotta build leverage. Well, I don't think it's even leverage. It's really what you're trying to do is build demand. You, you, you wanna build demand and, and you wanna do that by building up your own profile, your own portfolio, uh, engagement into the marketplace. Because if you can be the best singer or rapper or musician in the world, but if nobody ever hears you, what's the point? Facts. So I'm gonna tell you, this. I wanna, I wanna appreciate you for coming on my show, and I know you know this was like a, this was like very unexpected. So last but not least, I want you to tell everybody, I'm like, what can they find you at on social media, just anywhere, and what if they can reach you? Uh, on social media, I'm Black Ari Gold, B L A C K A R I G O L D, Black Ari Gold everywhere. Right, yeah, I want to appreciate you. And you. like you are the first person to make me actually get the interview. So I thank you for that. And shout out and y'all be in tune and y'all need to watch out for this guy right here. Respect, thank you, brother. Right, we done. It.